Hey, hey everyone, Aaron here with a fresh new speaker review. I've got the Bose S1 Pro and the new Bose S1 Pro Plus. Let's talk about these things because I have done something I have never done before doing a gear review. I read the instructions. The Bose S1 Pro came out a couple years ago and it was one of the first battery powered speakers to hit the market and it changed a lot. For a major speaker manufacturer to create a battery powered speaker that buskers, musicians, DJs could use was huge and I was the first one to get this thing, used it for ceremonies, cocktail hour, it was a game changer. I want to do a quick overview of the S1 Pro and I've chapter marked these so if you want to skip over this that's fine if you already know everything about it. So I don't want to talk too much. I really want to talk more about the S1 Pro Plus and the upgrades that are here and a few surprises that I think most of you don't know that this speaker does. And the only reason I know, like I said, is because I read the manual. The S1 Pro is about 16 pounds, so it's a light speaker. Two channel mixer on the back. You get about 10 to 11 hours of battery time on it. It's Bluetooth. It's easy to set up. It's lots of fun. It's got app control. It is really loud. When you play music, it gets loud. The only downfall I'd say to this is and I mentioned this in the other video, if you just directly plug in a microphone into it, like a, you know, just a XLR and a, you know, a mic plug into it and you turn all the way up, it's not very loud. The mic preamps on it aren't very loud. So that's one of the downfalls of it. But when we get over here to the S1 Pro Plus, you can definitely tell immediately a couple of differences just by the design. It's smoother, more uh, sharp edges on the S1 Pro, but we kind of rounded things out. And I gotta tell you, on the side here, oh, I just like touching it. I've been really trying, baby. One of the big differences between these two right away you'll notice is on the S1 Pro, it's got physical knobs for volume, EQ knobs, but over here on the S1 Pro Plus, it doesn't, but that's because they switched everything over to one button knob for each channel and it's got an OLED screen that you're able to toggle and cycle through volume, treble, bass, and reverb on channels one and two. Channels one and two also have a combo jack so you can plug in an XLR cable or a quarter inch for your instruments. But here's the bonus, ready? One of the surprise features that I was like, huh? As I was reading it, channel three, right? On the S1 Pro, it's just eighth inch and Bluetooth. But channel three, it's got a quarter inch aux in, which means it shows in the manual that if you've got a guitar and a vocalist and a piano, you can hook all three of these things into the Bose S1 Pro Plus. One and two could be microphone, guitar, and channel three, you plug your piano in. Now you've really got a legit three channel mixer as opposed to just the two over here. Plus you can still stream your Bluetooth and have that channel work at the same time. The USB power on this is for charging only and you cannot power up a wireless mic receiver. If you're wondering, I tried. I had like a cable that goes USB to my Sennheiser and when I plugged it in, it was making this sound. So I was like, yeah, that's probably not what it's supposed to do. So you can't power up a wireless receiver like the Everse 8 can do, but it will charge up your phone or tablet if you've got the right adapters. Let's get to the secret weapon over here, this USB-C thing. This is crazy. What you can do with the USB-C, this can turn the S1 Pro Plus into a live stream audio interface. Here's what I mean. If you're a streamer, what you need for to stream to your computer is some sort of interface where you plug in either your controller, microphone, so that that can go into your computer, right? Well, you can do all that through the S1 Pro Plus. How? This USB-C. So what you do is you plug USB-C into the back of the S1 Pro Plus, then plug that into your Mac or whatever laptop you have. Then you go into the settings in the, on channel three, you push and hold and you scroll down the live stream and you turn that on and your Mac will now read this as an audio interface. So then you can plug in a microphone, your controller, if you're a musician, your guitar, piano. Now you can live stream using the Bose S1 Pro. So you get a monitor with this and it's sending the audio signal to your Mac and you use the volume controls on here to control the volume that's going into it. It's like mind blowing that nobody's talking about the fact that this S1 Pro can do that. It's this un known secret, I feel like, that really makes this speaker pretty cool. 
One of the other brand new features of the S1 Pro Plus over the S1 Pro is that now they sell separately for about $150 these wireless transmitters. We've got an XLR1 and TRS or quarter inch one. Here's how this works. On the S1 Pro Plus, they've got these little rubber uh, covers. So you pull that off. Then you turn on the Bose S1 Pro and you plug in the XLR into the back of it. Two things happening while that's happening. One, now it's connecting. The second thing it does is if you leave it in there, it'll charge the wireless receiver while you have it in there. You leave it in for five seconds and when you pull it out, all you gotta do is then turn it on. Once you get a blue light on the receiver and you'll get a little signal up on channel one or wherever you have it plugged in, it'll show you, hey, it's connected, it's ready to go. Then all you gotta do is plug it into your microphone now we turn it up, check one, two, test one, two, check. Oh my goodness. Now we've got a wireless microphone that's connected right to the S1 Pro. You don't need any cables. It tells you that you're gonna get about 30 feet of distance when you hook this up, which I appreciate the honesty there, right? A lot of these wireless receivers, like you get 600 feet now. You're not getting 600 feet. You're getting about 30 feet of this, and then it's gonna to start to break up. So ideally, the right situation for this is to have the S1 Pro Plus next to whoever is singing or playing. Just keep it close. Here's where I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this for ceremonies when I have live musicians. It's one of the biggest pain in the ass when you have to take care of live musicians as a wedding DJ at a ceremony. You gotta bring extra speakers, you gotta do all this, you got extra cables, whatever. Now, all you need to bring is the S1 Pro Plus, you can have these dongles plugged into the S1 Pro Plus when you arrive, right? And just a microphone. So then you set it up on a tripod, you plug this into their guitar, you give this for them to sing, and you're set. You're completely wireless the whole time. And then if you need to, you can go still go into channel three and stream music. So if they have regular music where they're walking down the aisle or whatever, you can still take care of that. This is the all-in-one package for live musicians, for DJs. Now, if you are a musician or a busker, again, same deal. Now, you don't have to bring a wireless mic system if you wanna go wireless. You can just get these and you plug it in and you're good. Now, you will get about four hours of battery out of both of these things, so keep that in mind as well. There's extra settings that you can do while you're working with the Bose S1 Pro Plus and it's easy to access those. Just push and hold the button on whichever channel you want and it will pull up tone match. So it's got different tone match settings you can set for microphone, instruments, if you want the menu to go away, it'll just go away after 10 seconds. If you push and hold channel three, this is where you're gonna get more of the system settings that you can pull up. So it has auto off, which means it'll go into like, not protect mode, but sleep mode if it's not working for a while. So you can turn that on or off. The live stream I talked about earlier, your sub EQ. So if you wanna hook this up, if you've got another sub, if you've got a smaller event, um, I've got the sub two. I'm curious to hear what this sounds like with the sub two. Is that comparable to like a EV30M or a smaller column array, having this all set up. So you can turn the EQ off or set it to having an extra sub. Well, here's what I also like. It's got a battery reader on channel three as well. So it'll tell you how you're doing on your battery. Right now I'm at two bars. Over on the S1 Pro, what you did was when you turned it on, it would blink a certain amount of blinks and let you know if it's a 25, 50, 75, or 100%. So you have to watch that. But over here, there's a physical battery indicator, which I love. I think that's a great idea. One other thing to note physically on the outside, it's it's lighter. Like so when I pulled it out of the box, I was like, damn, this thing is light. It it's about two pounds lighter than the S1 Pro. And you can definitely tell once you grab it. So if you're looking to gain by lifting these things up, you ain't gaining. You're losing. All right, hold on. I know, I know. Some of you are sitting there. Is he even gonna play this goddamn speaker? Or are we just gonna have to sit here and listen to his bullshit? Here's your sound test. To kill the pain, I need more ibuprofen. I need something potent.
<laughs> the next big sound test I want to do is a wired microphone. I want to see, is this S1 Pro Plus louder when you plug in a microphone just through XLR into channel one? Let's try it out. To make this more interesting, I'm going to slowly pull up the volume, but I'm going to be reading the speech from Independence Day. Let's give it a little bit more juice. One, two. Good morning. In less than an hour, aircraft from here will join others from around the world. We will be united in our common interests. Okay, that's about halfway. All the way up, I'm standing this close to it. No feedback. And you will once again be fighting for our freedom, not from tyranny, oppression, or persecution, but from annihilation. Let's compare this to the S1 Pro, the original. One, two. One, two. Check. One, two. Test. All the way up on the Bose S1 Pro. No feedback, which is impressive. I'm this close to it, it's not feeding back. And should we win the day, the 4th of July will no longer be known as an American holiday, but as a day when the world declared in one voice. Here it is. We will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. I'm giving myself goosebumps. Today we celebrate our fucking Independence Day. Let's go. It's kind of tough to tell with your own voice listening to a speaker, and I'm in a bedroom, how it sounds, if it's louder. But I, I was kind of picking up that the S1 Pro Plus sounded a little bit louder with a, a wired mic. Tell me what you think. Hit that like button if you appreciate me doing this shit. Want to give a quick shout out to Sweetwater for sending these over to me to do a review on them. There are links in the description if you want to pick one of these up after you've watched their video. And that does support the channel. Also liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff. You know how to do that. That keeps me motivated. Just do that simple shit and I'll keep making videos. I'll see you at the next one.